for problem 4.7 on page 114 what they want you to do is it says repeat problem 4.6 but you don't need to repeat problem 4.6 you just need to resave problem 4.6 as 4.7 and then you'll have two separate files you'll have problem 4.6 which won't be altered and then problem 4.7 which is the same as 4.6 you're just going to change that one what they want you to do then is change the path of the tube to minimize the length while maintaining a straight section at each end so essentially they're saying this tube goes to a fixture and or to another pipe and connects to a fixture or another pipe and they want to shorten up the tube but they need to make sure that the ends stay in the same place so what you do to get this shape here is you just slightly alter problem 4.6 so here's problem 4.6 and to alter this is, is pretty simple what we need to do is right click on our uh, 3D sketch one, edit sketch, and then uh, with this sketch open, what you'll want to do is just select all these lines, and I'm just holding down shift while I do this, and you can just hit for construction. That way, all your geometry and all your dimensions stay there nothing changes those lines just aren't physically part of the drawing anymore they're just there for guidelines or construction and what we'll end up doing now is just drawing in new lines so I'm gonna click on the origin and hold and I'm gonna drag out a line I'm gonna to go to the opposite end of that tube click hold down and drag a line now you can see those lines that I just drew are directly on top of the uh, construction lines that we have there. It doesn't tell you how much of a straight section it wants, but I'm just going to smart dimension my straight sections to one. And then I'm going to draw a line between the two endpoints to connect the two straight sections. So now you can see I have a diagonal line going between the two straight ends. Now you can't sweep a path over a angle so I'll have to fill it these corners so I'm just gonna go up here to the sketch fillet and I'm gonna change the fillet parameters to uh, half uh, we'll see if a half inch works it might not okay yeah half inch is perfect um, we could even probably go an inch yeah there there's an inch all right, so a half inch, inch, whatever. And then there, now it's filleted. And you guys can see what that looks like there. So my original geometry is all there. It's just construction lines for reference. And then uh, once you have that diagonal line and the fillet's in, hit the purple arrow, and 4.7 is done. So 4.7, you can really get done in under a minute if you know what you're doing. It's real short, real simple, and uh, pretty easy to do. Okay. All right, so uh, that, that's 4.7.